the future is here, I'm not playing, it ain't nothing, we keeping up, I been praying, this is God engineering, hard on my sleeve, that's that shit a nigga wearing, it's hard to believe that one day, every one of us is gonna perish, I feel like I'm here for a greater purpose, I can't wait to use a credit card when I purchase, I can't wait for them to credit us for the work and we out here. Letoho Nolo Mataboche was born on March 27, 1997 in Pretoria, Gauteng. Although information about his parents is not really out there, but Aries has two brothers which he drew his music inspirations from. Aries attended his primary and high school education in Gauteng, South Africa. Being a lover of music, he was an average student who focused more on his music writing than his books. After a while, he decided to follow his passion for music. Aries started writing music from his early primary school days, following in the footsteps of his older brother, Polojo Jody Mataboche, also known as PJ, from the hip-hop duo Benchmark. He later developed on this and decided to go fully into it in high school. He got his stage name from his star sign, Aries. His brother, who is also doing music, inspired him to do music. In August 2013, he went professional after releasing his debut mixtape, Forever King. The hit received positive and motivating feedback from music lovers. That was a force that pushed him to work on the second one. The following year, Aries dropped the second mixtape, Casper's Picture, which reflected on the life of Casper Nyovest, another hip-hop artist in South Africa. Releasing the hit, Casper's Picture helped grow his fame. It exposed him to established labels and prominent producers like PH Raw, who granted him the opportunity to sign a recording contract with Raw X Productions. By then, he was merely 16 years old. While at the recording studio, he released another hit in October 2014. The title of the hit was Brownies EP, which sold well. In 2015, he signed a recording contract with another recording studio, Ambitious Entertainment. While working with the label, he released the first hit, which he called Couldn't. The song became the biggest thing that year and made good sales. The following year, he worked on another project, which he called Cutaways EP. He released this EP on the 29th of September 2016. Later in October 2016, he released his debut album, Paradise. The album topped the iTunes charts within 24 hours after it was released. The success was a major break for Aries, and he spent some quality time selling his debut album. Ambitious Entertainment went under much scrutiny after artist Fifi Cooper, Benchmark, Aries and Flame left the label in a very public and ugly fight. Artists claimed that they decided to part ways with the record label because of financial disagreement. The record label also went on to remove all of Aries' music videos from their YouTube channel and his Facebook page was also deleted. Aries released Loyal, where he addressed the reason why he left Ambitious Entertainment. After having financial disputes with Ambitious Entertainment, the Wrecking Crew was formed with Mesh Beats, X Global, Words and other former members Flame, Echo and Melo. The record crew changed names to Rubber Band Records after the departure of Flame, Echo and Melo. After parting with the label and founding the Wrecking Crew Collective, Aries worked on his album which he called Aries From Me To You And Only You. The album performed well and grew him more fame. In October that year, he released an EP which he called And I'm Only 21. This song also had a good break and topped the charts on iTunes on the day that it was released. Aries also released a collaborative album with Echo and Words titled Long Lost Letters. The lead single was Welcome to My Life. In 2019, he released Reese Effect. In 2021, with much anticipation, he released a mixtape, Today's Tragedy, Tomorrow's Memory, to get his fans ready for the sequel to his debut album, Paradise 2, The Big Hearted Bad Guy. For the time that he has been in music, he has had an impact on society. AV's songs have a unique style that distinguishes them from those of most hip-hop artists in South Africa.